This is part 3 of teaching video about Syntec IDE and HMI customization. The following video will illustrate several important steps in adding custom screen. This example shows how to add a custom screen and add a button in the Fenu bar of the machine coordinates. Then press this button to switch screen to the custom screen. Back to Syntec IDE. Double-click the custom screen icon. And then double-click here to create the file will pop up a dialog box. Then key in the file name is panel screen and press OK. The file list will appear a new file which we just created and named for the panel screen. Double-click this file to open EHMI to edit the custom screen. After opening EHMI, the middle blank area is the edit area. You can drag new components to the edit area from the toolbox on the left. In this example, we built an operation panel in advance like a normal custom screen. Users can add any other components that you need from the toolbar on the left. After editing the custom screen, we add a new button on F6 in the standard Fenu bar. According to the steps mentioned in video part 2, then click action box to call out the dialog box. In the dialog box of action, select the switch to custom XML. Then key in the name of the custom screen which we just created. In this example, key in the panel screen to the box and click the add button. Notification. Here we don't have to key in the file name extension. You can see the action we just added in the action list on the right. Press OK, then save file and restart the simulator. In the main screen, click F1 to enter the machine coordinate menu bar. We can find that there is a new button on F6 and switch to the custom screen by clicking it. This is the SOP to add a custom screen.